What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Nucci87, a.k.a. the biggest stepper, a.k.a. the biggest capper, man. And not because I be capping, man, but because I be capping, man. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And today, we got us another banger. Yes, sir. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a damage, a smush crown that may have been damaged en route from the buyer to the seller by the shipping company. Yes, FedEx, this video is definitely about you. Or maybe you guys accidentally sat on it yourselves or maybe placed a heavy object on it. Either way, you guys got a damaged crown. This is definitely the video for you. But before we even get into that, you guys already know what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to go ahead and hit that like button. Drop a comment, talk to the kid, I talk back. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man, please go ahead and give your boy a follow, man. Yes, sir. Y'all give me a few seconds to gather all the materials that we need, and I'll be right back. One hour later. All right, y'all. Welcome back, man. I've gathered everything we're going to need to be able to fix this cap, man. The first thing you guys are going to need is a steamer. A steamer isn't just good for curving the brim. It's also good for getting dents and uh, cracks out of your cap man so make sure to invest in a steamer man the next thing we're gonna get is distilled water yes so you guys want to make sure it's distilled water and not regular water because regular water could damage your steamer and we do not want that the next thing you guys are gonna need is a hat jack man if you guys don't have a hat jack it's still cool but this hat jack will help with the tension needed to get those dents and cracks out of your cap also you guys are going to need one to two shirts depending on the size of your hat and you want to take these shirts and stuff them in your hat man to call, to create more tension kind of like the same way when you guys are curving your brims and you use the bottle to curve the brim for tension it's the same way with the shirts man but anyways let me go ahead and grab the hat that we're going to be using if you guys remember when I did my review on the Emerald Bay, you guys saw this damaged hat. I'm trying to get a thumbnail real quick. Yes, sir. That is a good thumbnail right there. But y'all remember my hat came damaged. So this is the hat that we're going to be fixing. And I was going to return it, but I thought, hey, man, there's a possibility I won't be able to get this hat back. And this would be a dope video, man, to make. So let me go ahead and brush this off. I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, brim first, man, because that's going to be the easier part. Um, I'm going to curve it. I like mine's curved, so that's going to be easy. And so all the guys who like the flat brims, it's best that you curve the hat first and get all the cracks out of it and then reflatten the hat, man. But anyways, my steamer is ready to go, man. So oh, I think I turned it off, so I have to wait for it to... Wait for it to heat back up. One hour later. And I think it's ready. Yes, sir. So we're going to steam that out. Like we're curving the brim. In fact, let me take this sticker off. Yes, sir. It's going to work that. Work that way. Then a little minute, let me just check it out real quick. It's starting to get a little soft. I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds to a minute, man, depending on how soft it gets, man. But you want to get it soft so you can easily bend it and reshape it working that all right let me go ahead and pause that so we can save some and as you see let me go ahead and get my oh Let 
you want to, you know, push down on it. You know, get this out the way. This is my bottle. I'm just pushing down, you know. I'll see how it is. Got it on the table. We working that. We working that. Yes, sir. Y'all see it. It's all about tension and steam, man. Tension and steam is all you need. So the next time somebody said, "Why well, you need a, a steamer to curve your brim?" You don't just need a steamer to curve your brim. A steamer can do a lot more than just curve your brim. You tell them that, man. You can fix anything with a steamer, man. Yes, sir. All right. As y'all can see, check that out. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and brush that off real quick. Check that out. Yes, sir, that is the easy part. Now it's time to work on the crown. Put that to the side. You want to take your hat and you want to ball it up. I mean, the hat, take your shirt and you want to ball it up. Then, you're going to take the hat jack. Oh, matter of fact, I'm skipping a step. Excuse me. I forgot to steam, y'all. I'm wilding. I'm already jumping a step, man. I'm already jumping a step. So, we're going to start that steamer back up. I'm going to hit the inside panels right here. Where the damage is at. And I'm going to hit the outside. Just a tad bit, but majority is going to be on the inside. So, we working on the inside. Alright, I think we got enough steam in there. Let me go ahead and stuff that hat in there. I mean that shirt. get it to stay because of the shirt but it's got enough tension in there so I'm gonna start working it working that thing matter of fact I'm gonna come back with the steamer on top of it you just want to have tension man I'm trying to get the hat jack to stay but it's acting funny with me you want to have a lot of tension the same tension that you use to curve to curve your brim is gonna be the same tension you're gonna use on this hat right here so, I'm giving this some more steam right here. We get done with them. Add some tension to it. Try to. If you have like a ba uh, baseball, like a volleyball, a ball that can fit into this hat, that'll work as well too. I just didn't have one. Let me show y'all the progress so far. So I can see we still got a little bit of the dent here and a little bit of the dent there as well. But it's looking a lot better though, y'all. Is it not looking better? So I'm gonna stick that to the side. if I can get some more tightness in there man because you need a lot of tension in this hat in fact I'm going to steam the inside some more 
so with the reshaping you just got a lot of steam pause that go ahead and stick that in there kind of stick a little bit of this in there as well to make it a little bit tighter in there and we just gonna go ahead and push against it yes sir kind of work you know push against that kind of work those little kinks out yes sir right, give it a little bit more right here And like I said, man, if y'all have a baseball, man, this a baseball will work out even better. I mean, baseball, a ball, like a volleyball or something that can fit inside this hat. Y'all want to keep, you know, adding that tension in there. Y'all see how I'm doing that? Get up in there. I had to use two shirts. So. You feel me? Two shirts. Second, uh. A lot better. Let me go there. Let me Shouts out to FedEx for damaging the caps, man. You feel me? But at least now you guys will know how to fix a damaged crown man let me show y'all how let me show y'all what we got here man we're releasing the tension let me take a look it looks a lot better man a lot better y'all see the curve Might do the before and after picture somewhere over here. But yes, sir, y'all see it. Anyways, man. Y'all just keep repeating the process till y'all get that out of there. It just let me see. We got us a little a little dent up there a little bit kind of, I don't know if y'all can see I can kind of see it a little bit but y'all just got to keep repeating the process until everything smooths out man but anyways man I appreciate y'all tuning in to the channel yes sir don't forget to hit that like button hold on hold on But anyways, man, I appreciate y'all tuning into the channel, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a comment. Talk to the kid. I talk back. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man, please go ahead and give your boy a follow, man. It's your boy, Nucci87. I'm out!